Hello everyone, my name is Josh Chandra from the Austin, Texas area. Hi there, I'm Mina Chan, I'm from Castro Valley, California. And we're investigating the effect of green infrastructure area on PM2.5 concentrations and its relationship to respiratory illness plus. So as an introduction to our project, what is even PM2.5? Also considered fine particulate matter that is less than 2.5 microns in diameter. This basically means that it's small enough to get into the human bloodstream, which is not good at all. There's literature to support the causational relationship between air quality and green infrastructure, and also a causational relationship between air quality and respiratory illness. We have supporting literature for both of these findings. This is, shows that as air quality decreases, the amount of respiratory illness increases. Furthermore, there is supporting literature to support that as air quality increases, there seems to be an increase in open green spaces. So how are we going to define green infrastructure for this project? There's so many ways to define it, but for our project specifically, we're going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on the surface area coverage of number one, green open spaces, and number two, water bodies within county borders. What are we investigating? Our research question is, how does the ratio of open green space to total space in a certain county correlate with the air quality and respiratory illness prevalence within those areas? So why are we choosing this topic? So you can see through this diagram that there are three main parts to our project, but research is poorly understood between the gap between respiratory illness and green infrastructure, and we aim to fill that gap with this project. Our two California study groups are the San Francisco County group, which is San Francisco and the eight counties surrounding San Francisco County, as well as Los Angeles County and the five counties surrounding Los Angeles. We acquired the annual population of all of our counties, current open space data, and the number of cases of COPD and community-acquired pneumonia. Looking at the graphs, we're able to see that there is a positive association between PM2.5 in micrograms per cubic meter and the number of cases of COPD and the community-acquired pneumonia. In some of the counties, there are separations between PM2.5 concentrations and our respiratory data, but since it's occurring over multiple county graphs, we can assume that this is due to outside factors. Once we add in green space data, we can see that there's a correlation between the percentage of green space and where the rest of our data lies. The graphs show that a certain area needs at least 5% green space in order to keep their PM2.5 concentrations and the number of cases of respiratory illness that occur low. Our research also concludes that in terms of our two county groups, the LA County group has low green space percentages that are mostly less than 5%. SF County group has green space percentages that range from above 2% to below 20%. The Los Angeles County group has lower rankings in terms of PM2.5, COPD, and pneumonia data. It actually indicates that they have a high PM2.5 concentration as well as high respiratory cases. Most of the challenges associated with this research project were in terms of our time management since it takes time to acquire access to information and collect data, as well as rework any elements that need to be redone. The best thing about this internship was that it allowed us to collaborate with people who we might not have collaborated with otherwise, and work with people who have similar interests to ourselves. It was nice having the accountability of deadlines since it encouraged us to accomplish the work that we needed to get done. We also found out that we had to redo and rework many elements of our project numerous times, as we were really trying to optimize what we wanted to get out of the project and what our goals for our research were. Although we really did like the collaboration and the deadline accountability from both of us. Now onto the reflections from both Mina and I. I found out that I enjoyed the data collecting within the research process. This internship allowed me to see what I could get done with limited time and resources, and that's encouragement to continue researching in the future. I've noticed that the perspective I've gained from earth science and using that to benefit public health was a really interesting perspective that I could only get in this internship. In the future, we can use different different analysis to confirm the causational relationship between air quality and green infrastructure and air quality and respiratory illness. Also, we would like to present and eventually make a publication for AGU 24. Thank you to everyone who supported us along the way, especially our mentors. We look forward to continue to contribute to the science of the community.